Welcome back. I'm going to be painting on my polar bear next. And I'm using mixtures of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue one and one part of alizarin crimson. I've added cadmium orange into that and then also a lot of white. And the polar bears actually are not white. They're more of a creamy yellow, creamy color. And so for my creamier colors, I've made mixtures of my white plus a tiny bit of mud plus a tiny bit of ultramarine blue plus white. And then I come back. This, this mix has much more white in it. But it's still it's a creamy, creamy white. It's not just a, a white, white. People think of polar bears as, as just real white, but actually they're more of a creamy color. Now I have saved my colors from the background, and I'm going to come in here and make these leaves back in here just a little bit darker so that we really get the see the, the bear, get an outline of his. Now I'm just blocking him in right now. He's going to be a little bit darker here uh, where his back comes down in behind his neck and shoulders because then I want the light to hit him on his head and neck here. This is his shoulder blade popping up. His weight's on this leg, so that shoulder comes up higher. And this side is in shadow, so it's going to be a little darker on this side. I showed you my painting setup at the very beginning, and I have my easel and my reference photos taped up on the easel. I also have my laptop on the tabaret to the right of my easel, showing with my reference material. Then my trash bag is actually a, an aluminum walker that I just drape a large trash bag over. That keeps it open and I can just throw my, my trash in that as I, as I work. I don't have to worry about trying to open up a bag or anything or keep it open. And you also then saw my tissue hangs off of my, my easel, or my palette. My palette is a piece of glass on a white shelf board. Since we paint on a white canvas, or I do, a lot of people paint on toned canvases, but I paint on a white canvas and so I mix my paints on white. It just makes sense and I see the same colors on my, as I'm mixing them, that I show that I'll see up on the canvas. But now I just keep working. His um, this back leg's going to be a little bit lighter. His belly's a little darker where they drag in the mud and when they're lying down and everything. They're kind of dirty. And he's in shadow here, so this is going to be a little darker. I'm actually got a little a mud mixture. This is darker here. His neck laps down there. And then he's going to get some light hitting him in here on this leg. Actually not a he, it's the mother bear, so it's a mama. It's not she. And then my rocks show through here. I'm going to make her belly back here. This is her belly showing through and I want to just make that a little bit bluer and then we need to be darker up in here. You can see how I use the corner of my bright. This is called a bright brush. It's square tipped and I can use the flat edge to cover broad areas or I can use a corner to make smaller strokes. 
and we're just blocking her in. I'm going to make this side just a little bit bluer. Goes around. I'm not going to answer that phone while I'm working. It just is too interrupted. And most of the time it's usually somebody with selling something or a political call. Or... I found if it's important they'll leave a message and I'll call them back. It just It's like answering emails while you're painting. It just takes too much of your good painting time. So now I begin working on his, on her face here. Now I'm going to use my mall stick. You saw it when I showed you my setup, but that hooks over the top of my easel. And then I can just brace my hand on that to steady my hand as I do detail. Now I'm going to get a smaller brush. I work with as large a brush as possible until I get to an area where I have to work smaller. So then I just start in here. I'm going to now do the darks on, on her face. Get a little bit darker in here. Muzzle. her eyes, eyebrow, the eye comes in here, so eye here, and then her nose, mouth, And this is just blocking in. I'm going to have, I'll be doing a lot more detail than this, but first I have to get my canvas covered with just the light and shadow pattern. Now this is pure white. I'm going to use, oops, too much my brush. Comes down on her nose, ears, Tell you what, these last two paintings, these are the first time I've ever done bears, and they're kind of fun to do. I will delineate head here. I wouldn't want to meet one of these critters, but they sure are pretty. Ear, her ear comes out there. They have a long nose. That's the upright part. the nose I mix this is ivory black plus a tiny bit need a little more white in that I used for the upright part is ivory black and then this is white some white added in I'm using some of the dark blue from my rocks the blue gray because their muzzle gets that blue-gray down in here. And their lower lip is also darker. And then their lips are a dark. Looks 
like she's smiling. She's enjoying this nice fall day. She knows it's going to be cold pretty soon. Cold and snowy. But this is a nice fall day in Alaska. Their fall is <laughs> the middle of summer here in Texas. That's, that's how I start getting her blocked in. She doesn't look just real great right now. I've got quite a bit more work to do, but I'll show you the finished. I'll show you her finished at the end of the video. And I just thank you so much for watching my videos. Please feel free to ask questions. Just make them in the comments blog, and I'll be happy to answer them. Also, visit my blog. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my YouTube video, or the, the address is. And uh, again, I just thank you very, very much, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.